Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a comedian, he's an actor, and a social media sensation whose uh, how hood dudes be viral videos made him a funny force to be reckoned with. And by pushing out over 2,000 original videos through his production company and landing roles in hit films like pa uh, Will Packer's box office smash hit Little, he's on his way to becoming one of Hollywood's brightest young stars. Check this out. You know, you remember that Cadillac you done drove down now? That car? I don't know what you saw. <laughs> you didn't go sit down in that like you don't know. I don't know what you talk about. Ooh, you didn't go sit nah, No, I don't either. Ooh, you didn't go sit down and do it like that. <laughs> oh, please welcome down to the circle, Desi Banks. Hey, 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 good morning. Nice hey, you. you and Trina need to have a dance off. Mm -hmm. I would win. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? All I do is win, 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 no hey, matter I'm, what. No I'm, matter I'm what. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Ooh, yes, <laughs> wow. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. The couch. You got the, the fresh ones. Oh, right, you see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing with you them see today. me? I see y'all right. too. Mm -hmm. Put the your shot. little white polish on there and everything. Hey, now this is our box. Size is right. Okay, so we're going to talk about how hilarious your how hood dudes be on social media and you've gotten a great response from it mm -hmm. and is it from your Atlanta roots or wh why do you think it's been so successful? Because it's relatable, mm -hmm. you know, especially you know from where I come from, East Atlanta. East Atlanta. And Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> um, but yeah, it touches the people in that area mm -hmm. and I feel like it's real life. Mm -hmm. So and if you can be real life and relatable to the people, it, it's gonna always work. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. I agree. That thing mm -hmm. that when you when you are relatable, it mm -hmm. resonates because you you know it's it's always gonna be fun. Right. Well, it's definitely original. Now you were also uh, an athlete. The people had said. Yes. The people said that yes. you used to play football. Yes. Now, do you think that your athletic ability has helped enhance your comedy? I think it has. Anyway? I think it has a lot. Um, football. It it helped me. Learn how to be, you know, work hard, and mm -hmm. you know, learn how to be consistent, and mm -hmm. learn how to have a team. Mm -hmm. How important a team is. Yes. Um, you know, yeah. So it, it played its part in well, my the life. Principles, so. it, the Most team. definitely, it, it played its part. Though. So mm -hmm. yes, football was really big in my life, it, and that was my first dream as well. What mm. you play? What play? I played receiver. Oh, well, yeah. And that was the truth too. Right now. now, if you want to line up and you want me to, you know, do something to you, I can. We're but you know, we're gonna leave that right here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna leave that. I'm not. I'm not very I know, athletic I, like I, that. I, 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 I run a little it's bit. All right, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well. You know, there are so many different social media platforms out there. Everybody's a comedian. Mm -hmm. But what differentiates you from everybody else that's out there? And how did you know and realize, like, <laughs> I'm funny? Like, how did you realize that? Well, it didn't, you know, it took some time for, for it to actually, like, click to me. But um, I was able to, like, it, it was, like, find my gifts and talents, you know. And, I, and with that, you know, I found my purpose. Mm -hmm. And once I found my purpose with everything, I, I started to, like, you know, move different with it. Because I feel like, you know, with that, that's the reason why we're here. So yeah. I don't, I don't want to, you know, take that for granted. I want to do actually what I'm supposed to do while I'm here and, you know, and be able to climb to inspire people mm -hmm. and, you know, to help the youth. So I'm all about the people. So whatever, everything that I do is not about me. It's, it's always about them. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, now. So, yeah. I know. That's, that's how you're going to win. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and speaking of winning, you recently rose to the top three of the Hollywood Reporter's mm -hmm. top ten most popular comedians joining Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah. man. My God! Good Jesus! I gotta like sit that. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what does a recognition like that do for you? I mean, we talked on the top of the show about good people receiving, mm -hmm. you know, receiving their just due. What? How does that make you feel? Uh, it made me feel great, but it also just um, remind me and let me know I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And to know that, you know, it just tell me to keep going. You know, I try not to get so caught up into it. Mm -hmm. You know being top three, you know, because it can be a thing that can, like, scare, mm -hmm. you know, certain people, you know, especially where I come from. You know, right. those guys don't come from a social media era. Mm -hmm. You know, they came from a, the, uh, another type the of grand, world, right. the ground, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and I respect that, uh -huh. you know, and I just try to, you know, learn and grow from, you know, some of the things they, they have done, you know, growing up, you know, mm -hmm. so and I just take that and just, you know, run with it. Well, you're not just a social media comedian. Right. You just went on tour yes. with comedian B. Simone. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so how was that experience? And what was like the funniest thing mm -hmm. that ever happened while you were on tour? 
Um, first, the experience was great. You know, um, it, it opened up a lot of doors for me and it, it helped me like find myself as a comedian. I'm, I'm still finding myself. Um, but the funniest moment that I would say, I don't think it's funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first show, like the first time I ever, like, you know, did it. Mm -hmm. And I would say the none laughter that I got. Oh, no. You know, <laughs> oh, well, you know. Which would, it's a I good teaching tool. Yeah, it was a, a teaching tool. I want to hear more about this. For so sure. I'm not going to cut you off, but we're having an amazing time with sure. you. Yes. And guess what? It's not over. If yes. you're staying with us for the full hour, you get to see more of Desi. If not, you can keep up with everything he's doing on follow on Instagram at Desi Banks. Yes. Stay with us. And Please. don't forget the conversation always continues to search for TV and all social media platforms. Yes. Amen. And we're back on yeah. Sister Circle Live, and we're still hanging with comedian Desi Banks. And Rashawn decided to join the party. Yes. So Rashawn, go on ahead and kick the convo off at the table. Cedar Grove High School uh, is the rival to my high school. It's all good. I just want to say, you know, I ain't never been to a place where I can actually like sip and talk. <laughs> <laughs> This cup here is amazing. It I is. feel like I'm just very presidential right, right now. Right, right. You're, you're, you're sipping. You're looking good. good. You're looking good. I really don't even want to stop drinking. I just want to stop drinking. You know. So uh, before the break, you talked about the, the lack of noise that you heard when you did that first stand-up. Yeah. You know. But now, you, of course, you have blown up with these videos. What do you like more? Is it the video world? Do you like stand-up? What challenges you more? What makes you better? Uh, stand-up. Yeah. It makes you a better comic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it tep you go to a whole nother level. It build another type of confidence yeah. mm -hmm. in you, you know, as far as like, you know, just being relatable to the people and just inspiring the people on a whole nother, just a whole nother world. Yeah. And it's like, stand up was like, you know, to be honest, that was like one of my biggest fears. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I never like really envisioned that at first, you know, so it kind of like, Found me, you know, yeah. as I was growing, especially you know, starting off. And on still social growing media. in it. Oh, yeah, still yeah. growing yeah. in it. So do, you, do you model? Like, do you look at other comedians? I know you have to be careful of that, of course, and mm -hmm. making sure you tailor your own jokes. Mm -hmm. But who do you like? Kind of look up to. Um, my favorite actor comedian is Eddie Murphy. Yeah. 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 Eddie is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I grew up watching him. Mm -hmm. you know, I was always inspired by him. To this day, Nutty Professor is still my favorite movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that movie, and yeah. I love people like you know Martin Lawrence. Mm -hmm. You know those guys like Eddie and Martin. You know, they inspired me a lot, you know, especially with the characters that I do. Yeah. You know? So those like my main two yeah. as far as like inspiration as Come I watch. On. It's like comedians yeah. and, you know, stand up and actors and stuff like that. Come on. From comedy to drama yes. as well, because, you know, they both do. Yeah. You know, they don't mm -hmm. just, you know, labor themselves and, you know, just comedy. Right, so, right. Yeah. Now, Desi, you, you do a, uh, you don't just do how hood dudes be. Mm -hmm. You know no. what I'm saying? You, you <laughs> branch on out down to the relationships. Most definitely. Now, what inspired you to do that? Wait. All the videos that I do, I try to just be relatable to the people. So I just right. try to touch all the important things you I feel in, in, in life. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I feel like everybody has relationship problems. Mm -hmm. Everybody has baby mama problems, mm -hmm. you know? So, do, do they? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. Baby mama drama is real. Yeah, drink your drink. I'm going to drink it with you. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so that that's kind of yeah, like, yeah. That's, it mirrors your own life. It, it does. Yeah. So, and, you know, I have saw some of the things that, you know, I create yeah. as well. So, yeah, and I, I, I do character work. You know, I have my mama reach the character. I, I got my mama reach the character. So, <laughs> is there any, uh, y'all will never come to my house, mm -hmm. you know, get some Sunday dinner, do anything <laughs> like that. Y'all more than welcome. <laughs> Yeah, y'all my grandbaby too now. Hey, hey, don't be ashamed and be scared to not come to my house. Right. I don't buy it. Right. Sure. I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know. Well, you know, as, as a black business owner myself, mm -hmm. I know the importance of black business ownership. Mm -hmm. So you have your own production company. Yes, oh. Is it called Evolution? Desi Banks Productions. Desi Banks Brinks Productions. Desi, <laughs> yeah. Drink it right, drink it right. Well, so, <laughs> what, tell us about why that's important to you and to, and to create on your own. Of course. Um, well, first I would say I, I was inspired, you know, by people like Kevin Hart and mm -hmm. Tyler Perry, you know, mm -hmm. for yeah. creating their own production company. And, you know, as far as my own um, production company, you know, it, it gives people opportunities, like, for example, writers, producers, you know, directors, um, photographers, you know, people like that. And what we do is we come together and we create, you know, film works, mm -hmm. you know, for, for people to watch and, um, you know, just stay elevated, you know, with different things and stuff yeah. like that. So, you know, yeah, man, it's, it's going to tend to grow. You yeah. Know, with TV pilots from feature films, from 
social media, you know, scripts, pilots, and stuff like that. So it's just gonna be a lot of great things that come, you know, that come from that. Yeah. So you 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 talked about how you want to elevate, I guess, on your production. Most and, definitely. Yeah. What do you want to personally? How do you? personally want to elevate yourself and how in the industry? What With me, my main goal as far as what I do, my biggest goal is, is TV and film. I want to be able to get to that level, mm -hmm. you know, outside of social media. Mm -hmm. You know, social media is not the place where I want to stay at. I right. Want to I want to show people that you can come from social media and you can make it to, you know, yeah, to, that, to that world. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. This is a different time. It is. And we didn't have social media back then. And, and, and listen, the people that ha didn't use social media to be millionaires, they didn't have social media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why. They would have used social media as well so yeah. don't listen to anyone that tries to diminish oh, oh, social media because yeah. it is a good it's marketing great. tool and we all should be utilizing yeah, it not, fully because yes. I sure do mm -hmm. oh, honey tell the people and, and speaking go. of um, social media and and, and and being a mogul because mm -hmm. that's that's what it looks like you're trying to become which yes. is great mm -hmm. and I commend you it's important to have different revenue streams and speaking of revenue streams you also have a clothing line yes. that has a special yeah. meaning yes. talk to us about your clothing um, line and the meaning of it yes um, so I have a clothing line and the shirts are called purpose mm -hmm. and I feel like purpose is, is so important in this world you know so because yeah. I feel like everybody in the world has purpose right. and I feel like if you're not living in your purpose it's like what are you living for mm -hmm. right. so I, I live by that you know and I feel like everybody in the world has gifts I feel like your gifts are your purpose you yes. know a lot of people are doing jobs yes. where they're not happy yes so what's the point you know, yes. like you're wasting your time yes. you know? so I feel like I, I want every when you wear that shirt I want you to like not just wear it, but just feel it. Feel it. Yeah. yeah. Feel it. yeah. yeah. So. Come yeah, on, y'all. Come on now. I, I, I tell you, we're the east side yeah. to the west. Oh, and I tell you what, that's, that's the road topic. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, well, I tell you what, um, we, we thank you so much for hanging with us, Desi. Thank you. And uh, we had an amazing time with yes. you. Yes. You're yes. amazing, yes. and we wish yes. you all the success. And yes. you can keep up with everything Desi's up to, including mm -hmm. his upcoming comedy tour, yes. by following his Instagram at I am Desi Banks. Yes. Thank you.